Good evening, friends. This, uh, this evening, I'm going to come to you at the request of the Lord to put a warning out to the church of one of the upcoming plans of the New World Order. And being aware of this plan or plot, it can go a really long way in not getting wrapped up in the politics of this earth. But keep your heart focused on the politics of heaven. In heaven, the Lord Jesus Christ, he's awaiting the day that he can usher his precious ones home and close out the church era. And then he will turn his fullest attention to the Jews. And we need to be mindful that the bride of Christ is made up of several different nationalities. And that includes those Jews who claim Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, as their Messiah. The bride of Christ is not a Western-only bride. Friends, many people operate in that notion, but the global bride of Christ, it needs to band together in love and unity. And this is the politics of heaven. Now, having said that, the bride of Christ, it's not to get wrapped up into politics that brings strife and division. Those living in the USA, please hear me. Learn from the last U.S. election cycle. Let everyone choose who they will vote for if they are a voting Christian. But do not make your Christianity about an election. All right? And there's going to be another event coming that's on the calendar of the globalist. I want to talk about that tonight. And that is to draw the Christians out and display them as radical nutcases. And they will do to the Christians what they're currently doing right now with President Joe Biden, publicly tearing him down all around the world and enjoying it while our nation falls into deeper recession. It's coming. And joking about the stupidity of Christians is coming to late night television. Friends, if you feel inclined to vote, vote. And if you don't agree with others, please don't show Christianity in a bad light. And just a few weeks ago, I asked a personal friend of mine about the two witnesses and when he thought they would arrive on the scene. He's a biblical scholar. He's also a government insider. And he told me very quickly that he doesn't know, but he knew of plans of the globalist to bring their own two witnesses. And then I knew in my heart that there was another confirmation of this prophetic dream that I had back in February of 2020. There will be two witnesses coming, friends. They'll be very convincing. They're fake. They will be hybrids, part human and part fallen angel or fallen angel offspring. They'll be wearing sackcloth and they will have incredible powers, but their power does not come from the Most High God, Yahweh. It comes from the pits of hell and they will be very spiritually angry and act as though they hate the federal government. And friends, it's at that time that the big showdown against Christians will really get underway. And they will pit the general populace against us. And please do not take the bait and get the word out to all, especially to your pastors. Friends, you're going to see passion in them, but it will not be uh, a spiritual Christianity passion that's from above. It'll be a poisonous radicalized passion and they will show up at governor, uh, government venues and strike at the heart of the government with hatred, a religious looking hatred that almost seems justified because at the time that they rise in their stage show, the nation will have fallen so much that people will be more angry at the government. But again, I say, please remember this message and do not join in with their rhetoric. We take our complaints to the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord on high. And we are not revolutionaries. We are soldiers of the cross. So this is what the Lord wanted me to bring forth to you tonight, friends. If these men should come to you this year or in the next several years, remember this message and take heed and pass it on to those that you care about. The battle belongs to the Lord, and we will be judged as a nation. But the radicals in our government, they want to make Christianity look, make the Christians look like the scum of the earth. 
and they already have planned how they're going to spend the whole thing. Remember Adolf Hitler. Friends, continue to pray for those in authority and for this upcoming election cycle. Put it on your calendars. There are many freedoms at stake and you're seeing unprecedented weather patterns in states that really appreciate their right to bear arms. So most importantly, pray that we can maintain our religious freedom for as long as possible. Jesus Christ is coming soon.